Origin API Explorer. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the Citizens Hub. So it is nothing to do it. Uh, uh, just like uh, we are using anything like a uh, mashup and uh, go to Dave how it is just an explorer okay we don't have to do anything on this we can uh, it is a kind of a you know intermediate approach it is explorer when you do any uh, data transition between uh, clicksense server and clicksense desktop okay from the clicksense browser to clicksense server so your request is passed through the engine api okay Mm -hmm. is basically a engine uh, which uh, runs all the services inside this so i will just okay sit. we don't have to do anything on this but we can see like any object any dimension any uh, you know tangible thing in the click sense like in click you know click you right in click you all the objects all the sheets all the variables has a unique name right here in click sense we are not able to find that right are you able to find out uh, object id of clicksense in the clicksense desktop no no yeah no but no. to engine api we can get it mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. in clicksense desktop uh, we can get the sheet id we can get the object id we can get all the methods but we don't have to do we don't have to do any creativity here we can simply explore it okay okay so it will it is a kind of a it is a module which describes about the metadata of your app, entire applications okay just a kind of analytics of your entire existing applications so first you have uh, i mean when you just connect to engine so clicksense has a inbuilt service when you open up a clicksense desktop that service is first started and then the clicksense desktop is started so this engine uh, which is service it has to be connected from this engine api this is a, it is a browser which will first connect to your uh, clicksense service and it will get all the apps in this list and if you want to see any uh, the details of the apps now this particular app has used how many functions has used how many dimensions has used how many measures okay so that will be listed over here. We don't have to do anything on this. Okay. So connect to engine. So it is now connected to the click sense. So this is basically a log uh, panel, which will show you the log of the activity, what you do so far. So get document list. So for, first, when you connect to this engine, the one log is created. It is just saying that you are connected to the local host and you are going to explore the applications okay so it has two portions one is request another is response so when you do anything when you touch to system you are placing a request and when you get something that is a response okay so what we did here when you just connect to this engine it sends a parameter to the engine to the server it's basically the json language you can see these are all written in the json so first method we did is get document list that means all the document of the click sense will be listed this is the method so in this get document list whatever the document you have that is written in this json now you see what are the document we have that will be written how many documents we have the number of documents we have in the click sense are now returned over here one is transform qva so this is basically one clicksense dashboard okay and the second is alstom transport limited the alstom transport uh, training dashboard so this is one other app so as you can see these are the app title this is the path of the app the qva file and then the file uh, the time it takes the time the millisecond to get it retrieved size how much is the size is in it's in kb okay so these are the number of app i have 
the number of JSON file is it is created. So through this API only you can get all the informations. So in the app, the number of uh, you know uh, images is being used or whatever the additional component is being used also that is showing over here. So it is a response and request and, and this is the output window through which you will analyze do the analysis. Now I'm going to connect to uh, one app which is say um, Alstom turning dashboard. Okay. So now the app is created the second activities first one is the global global object. So the, it is connected to click sense only and then now we selected a document. So once you selected a particular document, the API is now calling to a single document. Okay. Now see. Okay. So this is another uh, another method is called. Okay. First one is a get document list. It was getting all this information and this is the log of the second activity open document is a method which is being passed and this is the parameter one document give you a file and uh, here's the document Alstom training dashboard and it is the path so I can get all the information from this Now in this particular document if you have used any macros okay any methods so that will also be listed okay now see this particular document Alstom training dashboard what is the next method we use okay in this document I have not requested anything else now thus the what request I sent to the engine that show me list of dimensions okay so what are the dimensions I get? I will be getting out here and I have to this is the code which has been written then I'll execute it and I'll give a request to the engine and I'll get the output over here. I'll execute. So the output I'm getting is get layout. Okay. This is the this is the method and the output I'm getting is in this particular document. What are the dimension being used? First dimension is customer. Second is uh, customer is the title. Field name is the company name. <coughs> and it's uh, it's it's a dimension ID is this. Okay, for every component, it has a unique ID. Got it? Right, right, yeah. So this is the dimension ID automatically created dimension ID. It is a type is dimension and it is a demography. It is basically a drill down dimension. Okay. The tag which is given is drill down. Hmm. And the database field name is country. So the, in this drill down dimension as you see this is a drill down dimension. So it is it is started here and ended, ended here and it has the information is country then the next level is state st state province city address and so on so this is a drill down dimension mm -hmm. like as for okay. other also so all the dimensions we have it is invoice date invoice uh, and it is a time dimension which also uh, Single dimension, yes. So this is this is our drill down dimension also, or a year, quarter, month. So for every dimension, we have a for every uh, dimension in the master library, it has a unique ID, and which is here. Okay, this is the unique ID of this particular dimension. So. Uh, 
it is it is also necessary when you are creating a mashup and when you are a code javascript programmer and if you want to deal with some codes and if you want to deal with some files with some objects and object id if you want to get then you can get all the information from this mashup i mean uh, engine api explorer so this is the engine which will give you all the information so here is list uh, you know sheets exhibited you'll get all the sheets this is the request this is the code request and i'm getting another thing so you need to see the time like get layout and say that 8 to uh, you know 8 13 is my current time and this i'm getting the list name sheet name okay and the first sheet name is dashboard which uh, dash the sheet id is this in click view we had option to uh, explicitly give the assign the you know ids right Mm -hmm. We can yeah. change the IDs of the object or or the sheets. We can give the sheet name. We can give the you know uh, object names. Uh, but here we don't have that option. But that will be automatically created in the ClickSense. But we can access it by using this engine API. And for every uh, object, it is. Uh, having a name the combo chart it is it is the api oh. here you see in the dashboard i have a uh, multiple components so this is basically a uh, dashboard in this uh, dashboard i have few objects which is a text object and these are the KPIs. There are four KPIs. Remember, we have four or five KPIs in the dashboard. So these are the KPI IDs. Because in the KPI, we have not given any name. We have not assigned any name. So uh, the name has automatically taken over here. The type is KPI. The combo chart, it is there. So it is the end of the dashboard uh, page. Now the second uh, sheet id is this one it's a type is sheet second sheet name or sales analysis if you see the uh, astrom training dashboard also you'll get the same sales analysis and uh, components are there in the text image kpis are four kpis should be there yes there are four kpis and there are also filter panels so see every filter also has a name because they have only simply added the data they have not provided any name so automatically then uh, their automatic name has been given away here apart from the filter panels we have a got chart we have a histogram so it is, it is basically a system defined name okay whatever the title we have given the title is not mentioned over here in the sheets uh, on the objects the title is not mentioned over here but uh, automatic name has been given over here for a, these are all also unique for each object these names are unique like that revenue analysis and so on so you understood about uh, uh, engine api explorer so it is it is nothing to create over here it is a useful module to analyze to get the you know to dig into the informations of the click sense their IDs and the metadata informations. So will it be used in any integration or uh, like where this response no, will no, be used? That will not, that will not be used any, uh, for any integration. That will be basically used when you are writing a JavaScript program. You can get mm -hmm. the information of uh, the objects through this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. So mm -hmm. this will not be using for any integrations. Okay. Okay.
so this is pretty much about the engine api and then you can